YouTube. It has been a minute. So, okay. Um, we have a lot to talk about. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, so, most importantly, this is the first day I'm working out since my meet. My meet was on Saturday. Today is Monday, so I took Sunday off, um, which is yesterday. And today I kind of, it's kind of weird. So I'm not on program right now because of some stuff I'll talk about in a sec once I explain everything. But meat recap is going to be posted within the next few weeks. I don't know when because I need to, I'm going to wait until obviously I get the um, like professional photos and stuff I paid for. So I don't want to post the video without that because... Obviously, I paid for that, so there's no point. Like, that's the whole point of uh, everything is to get, you know, the high-quality video and pictures and all that. Um, so I'm going to wait till I receive those, which I think is going to take about a week or two. So that actual meat recap video will be posted in a week or two. But we can still talk about it, um, and we'll talk about why everything's a little messed up right now. So... I think it was two days ago. Obviously, I had to taper. I didn't film during the whole entire week. Not really on purpose, but I was just locked in. I didn't really have accessories, so I figured it would be pretty watched. To, uh, pretty boring to watch. So um, I just didn't film the whole taper week. Just focused, locked in. And we had the meet. And today's the first day I'm training. So I'm not on my program until Friday. Because my weeks start on Friday and Saturday. Like, my first primary day of the week every week is Friday. So, my, my week, like, my block weeks start on Fridays. So, obviously, I can't start on Friday if I were I did my meet on a Saturday. And I'm working out today, which is Monday. So, uh, my coach is like, you can do whatever you want. Um, just body build, do whatever, just have fun. And uh, until Friday. And then... Friday, I, I have squats like normal. I don't know. I'll probably be in triples or quads. I don't know yet. And Saturday, he's letting me uh, YOLO pull and YOLO bench because I'm asking to, first off. Second off, in my meet, you guys will see um, I had a lot of room on the lift, on deadlifts. I had a lot of room. And bench, I didn't have a lot of room, but like going to failure and bench really isn't a big deal. So... I wanted to see what my true, true, true max is, like, to the half a kilo, kilo, just to see what I could really hit right now. It might literally be what I hit in the meet, but squats were not going to PR because my squats, as you guys will see in the video, went a little weird. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be wearing heels from now on, so we're going to just start honing in on that form with hopefully no heels. I don't have to, hopefully I don't have to buy tears, and I can just wear my sumo shoes until I get better shoes for squatting like Ivanka's or something um and I hopefully can just squat flat and everything goes well um that way so we're going to transition into that I believe starting on Friday and Saturday I get to YOLO pole and I get to YOLO bench so my program this the first block is going to be weird because it starts on Friday but it's just going to be RP 10 for my bench and my deadlift so um, I guess I get to actually start my block of squats, or, or sorry, of bench and deads next week. So it'll be next Friday. So my official block does start on Friday, but I won't be fully on schedule until next Friday. Which means for these pretty much next two days, or next, I mean, I have, next, I have four days, but one of these days I'm not going to work out. I can do whatever I want. So like today, I'm going to do some, I'm definitely going to do chest and back. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do close grip bench like I normally would, but I'm definitely doing chest and back. I'll probably do a lot more back and chest accessories because why not? Um, I'm literally supposed to and I'm allowed to, so <clears throat> no reason really not to. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to probably just hammer a huge leg day. I probably won't bench tomorrow because I normally do SPD. But I do not want to do SPD tomorrow, so I'll probably won't bench unless I'm really feeling it. We'll see. But um, I'll probably just do a big leg day tomorrow. Wednesday I take off. And then Thursday I don't want to mess with too much because I do want to be primed to hit a PR on Saturday on my bench. 
So I'll probably just follow like what I did for the end of my taper on um, Thursday. We'll see though. I don't know. That's debatable. I'll probably film today and tomorrow for sure because it's a fun day, like day not on program. And then we'll get back into a normal schedule. I'll hopefully film Saturday for my PRs and all that. Um, I'll talk about my taper. Um, I got kind of screwed. Not by my coach or anything. I just like, I got COVID really, really, really bad on the Friday of my taper. Um, and it was really bad. Like it was really, really bad. Like I almost didn't come to lift on the Saturday before my meet, which is my last day of my last, like the start of my taper, my last heavy day. I almost didn't come to lift because I was, I was really, really bad. And I kind of just like took a nap and took Dayquil and my coach was like, if you can lift, go lift, but don't expect much. And I actually hit all time PRs. Um, I hit 112 and a half kilos on bench, which is 248 um, on that Saturday. And I hit 170 kilos on dead, which was my first time ever touching three reds. Um, I also hit that on the same day on Saturday when I felt like shit. So those are both pretty big PRs when I felt like absolutely terrible. So I was excited to go into the meet, but I was really sick until about Friday of the meet. So about a day before I meet, I was still really, really sick. And it was suck. I didn't really have much recovery wise because I was dying. So like that was kind of um, a little bit scary and a little unfortunate because I didn't get to fully optimize my recovery because I was sick. I was dying. So everything was uh, not great for my taper, but it worked out. Um, my meat went pretty well. I felt like shit during my whole taper, like physically, mentally, and being sick. So it was kind of a mess, but everything's back to normal now. I'm still a little stuffy, if you guys can hear, but my throat's a little dodgy, but I'm like fine. I feel fine. Um, back to class and everything. It's just a lot right now. It's also really, really cold for Orlando. It's really cold for us. It was like 40 yesterday, which for Florida in general is really, really cold. But Orlando especially is really cold. So the weather's been messing me up a little bit as well. But no, everything went well. Um, me, my relative went well. I really want the video to come out soon. So I do have a lot to work on, of course. Um, the bulk has started to 90 kg. So I got about six months, I think, until I'm going to do my next meet. Either the end of July or the start of August um, is what we're looking at. I'm looking at in between two different meets. I don't know which one I want to do yet. Uh, but they're both about six months away. So I'm hoping I can be about 90 kg in uh, that time, which is pretty freaking heavy. I end up weighing in on my meet about 184. Sorry. I end up weighing in about 174 because... I hardly ate the week before because I was sick as hell. So it was hard to eat. Um, so I lost a lot of weight right before the meet. So I weighed in really, really, really light. But it didn't affect me too much. I think right now I'm weighing in about 178 or something. It will be on the title like always. But uh, now I got to bulk up to 198. So I got six months, gain about 20 more pounds. It's pretty good, actually. Um, math wise, it's a, about a pound a week, I believe. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. It's about a pound a week. Which is pretty chill for me, to be honest. Um, I've been doing two pounds a week. Pretty much the whole prep for this meet. So I have a lot more time now to build up. Sorry, I'm like trying to think about numbers and stuff. But I, all I know is getting a 198 six months and right now I'm like one we'll just call it 180 on average so I gotta get 18 pounds in six months it's pretty good six times four is 24 yeah it's about a pound a week it's a little bit less than a pound a week so I don't have to eat like crazy I should be able to do it pretty easily hopefully as long as I keep gaining weight consistently and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it you got six months to build now we got a big off season and put on some size put on some strength Everything's going to be good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to hit chest and back today. Don't know what we're going to start with. Maybe incline Smith. Maybe incline General. Maybe just do close grip like normal. I don't know. We'll see what my friends are doing in the gym. We'll see what I feel like when I walk in. But I got some pre. And uh, let's go kill some chest and back. Let's get a pump. 
Uh, we're just going to go till I can't get it up. Right. Hopefully it's like six. Oh. Yep. Got it. Let's go. 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 Keep going. Bump it. Lock it. Go. Come on. Come on. Lock it. Come on. Come on. Yep. Thank you. The top set was 175. Got eight and a half with the assist, so nine. Um, I'm gonna try to do 155 for three sets of eight now. And then go do some back. Maybe do barbell rows or like call ups or pull downs. We'll see. I don't Two of those could be really very hard. But. Come on. a new pair of straps because I lost my other one. Um, yeah, we need pull downs. I love pull downs. So. We're going to go for one to be for like eight or nine. It's going to go to failure. Uh, we'll see if these straps are good. They're the same ones I used to have without the design. So they should be good. Smith machine or sorry, incline. So much range of motion because I hold pretty close, but I feel great in the chest. So. 
All right, let's see how these feel. Drop it and do twelves. I want to hit some ladder races today. But I haven't done ladder races in like a really, really long time. Um, so I want to do some ladder races today. So I'm probably gonna do one more back thing, one more chest thing, some ladder races, and then probably curls. A little dip. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Right, probably gonna lower the weight. Damn it. Hopefully 12. Um, that was a hard. I'm hoping like 110 or 12 is pretty doable. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Said it. I was not easy. We're gonna do row behind me, chest fly, ladder raises, curls. Right. We're gonna go for 10. I don't know if we're gonna get 10. That is what we're gonna go for. So, we'll see. This machine is pretty hard from what I've tested already.
I need a, a little bit more of a stretch. Right, let's get 10. set. Alright, take the straps off. I don't really need this. I set. New chest flies. Maybe just the chest flies. The failure. I don't know. Hopefully, like ten to twelve reps. the seat. I'm to raise 20 pounds. Hoping I fail at 10. It's kind of the goal.
Oop. Nine. Let's go do ladder raises. I haven't done these in a very long time, but I'm just going to try to go slow and controlled till later, so we'll see. That's way too heavy for me to pause it. I'm going to go like 15s and pause them. Alright, let's do 15s and let's, let's pause them. Fifteen's pretty good. Let's do that. I'll be happy with that. Let's go. Let's go. It's feel good. I'm not using really them. I love them. So. I realized I have nothing rare doubts, but it's whatever. Um, hopefully, I do them on Thursday. Let's get it. Last set of these. some curls. I'm just gonna do standing curls at the same time. Um, so not alternating. And uh, hopefully, hopefully get 12. to get two more sets. Oh, one more. 
Lasset. Oh. All right. We'll do a mini pose because I'm kind of gassed. That's all I'm doing. Let's leave. Super solid workout today. Um, I did kind of get to just mess around and do whatever. Um, so I ended up doing um, incline bench like you guys saw. And then I did lat pull downs like I always do on this day. I just like lat pull downs. I think they're like my favorite back exercise. And I did that weird chest supported row machine right next to it, which was eh. And then did chest flies, which are also kind of eh. I really felt in my bicep, which is bad. Um, I don't really know why, but I just haven't done them in a while, so I wanted to do them. And then lateral just felt fucking amazing. Um, the lateral just felt really, really good. You had actually a really good pump from them, and oh, and they felt really good. And then curls, my bicep looked insane. It like on video, I don't think it looked that crazy, which kind of sucks for me. But like my right bicep was looking absolutely insane. Because I'm, I guess I'm pretty lean right now because I dropped so much weight from being sick. Like the day after my meet, I weighed myself. I was 175, which is crazy. Because I'm in the 182 class. And the day after the meet, I weighed in at 175. The day after. After I ate a shit ton. So I don't even know what I weighed in during the meet. I weighed 80.9 kg, I believe. Which if you want to do the math, I think it's like 175-ish, 176-ish. Which is kind of crazy because I'm supposed to be in the 182 class and I was like consistently 180, 181 every single day before and then I got sick and I couldn't eat anything, I couldn't swallow. So I was just having basically just straight liquid. I was just having soup and bread pretty much. Soup and bread and I could not eat my calories. It was literally impossible. Everything I'd eat, I'd only eat like half a portion and I'd get super full, which is not like me at all if you know me. It's not like me at all. So I dropped a lot of weight really fast. Um which was bad. I wasn't trying to, I wasn't doing it on purpose. I just literally couldn't eat. So I finally started eating like right before the meet again, but I was so light, which I'm happy about. I literally was so light that I started eating before I weighed in. Like my coach was like, bro, you're so light. Your dots doesn't matter anyway. Cause it's going to be under 400 because I'm weak, obviously. So he's like, bro, just eat. He's like, make sure you feel full all day. Don't, don't worry about anything. So I was literally like eating before I weighed in. And I still only weighed 175 in my weigh-in or whatever. I weighed at 80.9 kg with me eating food. So I was really underweight, which is not like a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing. Um, you kind of want to usually, usually you want to cut to make weight. You don't want to be eating to make weight because I probably could have realistically competed in the 75 class if I really wanted to. I could have cut at that point. It would have been like an extra nine pounds or something I could have cut I, if I would have stopped eating a bunch of food three weeks out I would have been able to get there probably and felt really good and be lean but we talked and it's like it's stupid for me to cut especially right now when I'm trying to fill out is my main goal so cutting is the opposite of what that would be doing for me and two I'm not strong enough to qualify in any class right now that's like realistic so there's no point of me trying to cut and make weight or do anything if i can't even qualify for nats so like what's the point so like my next meet i'm gonna try to go to 90 
which like I talked about already in six months, which gives me more room to just fill out my frame. And then after that, I'll probably keep going. Like I don't really see me stopping a bulk, like until I'm well into the two hundreds, because even if let's say I compete at 90, right? Let's just say somehow I weigh like 196, which I, I believe that's the weight class or maybe it's 198, whatever. I weigh exactly 90 kg, right? Let's just say that if I weigh 90 kg, I'm still not at the right point because the whole point is you're supposed to be like five to, in my opinion, five to 10 pounds above your weight class off season. So that all you have to do is cut a little bit and you hit your weight. That's when you're filled out. So I'm still not doing that because I'm still only going to reach the cap. Even if I, and I don't think I'm going to get there to be honest, me putting on a pound a month consistently, sorry, a pound a week consistently for like six months is really, really hard. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Putting on 20 pounds in six months is not easy when you've already put on 20 pounds in the last six months, which is what I've done. I started bulking about six months ago and I've put on 20 pounds since then. Basically, basically 20 pounds, maybe a little less. I was like 160 when I started, 165 when I started. So we'll just say I've put on an actual 10 pounds, but like on the scale about 15 pounds in like six months. And that's like at the end of that, I like couldn't eat like before my meat. Like I, I didn't want to eat anything. I was like full every day. I was like, coach, let me stop eating. And he's like, you can do a little maintenance phase if you really need to, but you need to just fill out. So I don't think I'm going to be able to put on 20 pounds in six months, even with me trying as hard as I can. I'm going to, and I'm going to try, and I'm going to eat, but that's a lot of weight to fill out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, not lean at least, not if I want to stay lean, which I, I do have a very big interest in staying leaner. So it's going to be a grind no matter what. So even in six months, if I'm at 90, in another six months, I think I'll probably still be at 90, just because then I can stay at 90 and fill out, and like, you know, then I can be like 205 off season and just cut to 90 to make weight and like fill out. So that's probably what will end up happening. So I got a long time ahead of me of bulking, which I already know. Um, and I got to fill out and then I got to qualify. So the goal for me right now is just to qualify for collegiate Nats before I graduate. So that gives me 18 months to qualify. Um, or like in collegiates or to qualify as a junior, which would give me until I'm 23 which would give me two and a half years. So uh, around like hey, two years in a few months. So my goal is in two years and two months to be qualifying in a 90 kg class. That's my goal. I don't know if qualifying for 100 is possible right now. Unless like, I mean, we'll see how, if my numbers keep growing like the way they are, then sure. But I don't know. I don't, I'm not expecting to be this consistent. I'm expecting ups and downs and plateaus. And right now I'm just kind of growing. So we'll see. But my goal is to be able to qualify in two and a half years at 90, which I believe is about, I'm just going to call it 700 kilos. Right now I'm at, uh, well, actually, I think it's like 680 because qualifying at 82 is 640. I think it's like 680 kilos, which is a lot more than I'm at because right now I hit 445 in my meet, I believe, or 455 maybe in my meet. I think I hit 455. So that's that's a lot. I mean, that's that's a lot of kilos, man. That's That's a lot of weight. That'd be me putting on about a 200 kilos to my total, basically, a little bit more than that, 230 kilos to my total, which would be about 500 pounds. So basically adding 50% to my total in two years. I do think it's really possible because I act like that's, that's a big deal, which it is, but like, I think I should easily be squatting 500s. I should easily be benching mid 300s to 400s, and I should easily be deadlifting 500, 600 pounds. Like I'm a perfect deadlifter. Like leverage wise, I have no reason to not be a deadlift specialist and just have a crazy deadlift. I just haven't filled out my posterior chain and I was just like a really bad deadlifter for a long time. So I think once I fill out, once I get my form perfect and just keep going with a good coach, which I have, I love my coach, we're just consistent working. I'm going to be a big deadlifter. I like, I, I think I'm going to be a really big deadlifter. My squat might always be poverty because of leverages, but you know what? It's okay. Who needs a squat? be a straight deadlift specialist and somehow a bench specialist, which would be funny because usually those go opposite of each other, but I'm just yapping. I mean, I have a lot of hopes and dreams, obviously, but we'll see where everything goes. The goal right now is just fill out, pick a meet and set a goal for that meet and just hit it because I don't have any real goals right now. Like my goals are still 385 squat, 275 bench, 455 deadlift. That was my goal 
for this meet, technically, that were, like, crazy goals, my deadlift might actually be there. I don't actually know. I'll know on Saturday when I go to test it, I guess, as long as I feel good. And my squat's in the gutter compared to that. My squat's, like, 350 right now compared to that. My bench is really close. My bench is, like, 250. Hopefully, I can hit, like, 255 on Friday, on Saturday. So, only be 20 pounds off on bench. And then my deadlift, hopefully, is really close to that, too. So, I, I need new goals for my next meet because in six months, I should be killing those numbers, in my opinion. Like, killing, like, destroying. Um, so, we'll see what my goals are. But my goal for my next meet might be to build, pull 500. If I can put 100 pounds on my deadlift, because right now, I technically pulled 402. If I can put 100 pounds on my deadlift in six months, that'd be kind of lit. That'd be really good. I'd be really, really, really happy with that. So that might be my goal. We got to pick some goals. We're gonna, I'm going to talk to my coach about it, obviously, and see what's realistic. And we'll see how progression goes over the next six months. But I'm going to be consistent like I always am. We're going to grow. We're going to put up some size. And workouts are going to be good. Hopefully, I film tomorrow. We got a good leg day. I'll just murder legs tomorrow. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but... I will probably do squat and deadlift because I don't really want to mess with the program that much, even though I'm not on program. I think my squat's my weakest lift right now, and I want to be a good deadlifter, so I really don't want to mess with any of that stuff. So I kind of just want to I want to focus on that. So I'll probably do some type of tempo or pause squats tomorrow as long as – I might do some pause deads tomorrow instead of like a 2 by 4 I'll probably do some pause deadlifts. I haven't done them in a really long time. Um, and then we'll do some leg accessories and we'll just murder legs. And Thursday I'm working out with my boy. So I don't know if I'm going to film that. Probably not. But probably just go crazy Thursday. And then Saturday, we got the PRs, which I will definitely be filming. So hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a little bit. So uh, this one's probably a little bit longer, but it's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.